Hey everyone, hope you're all keeping well. We've got loads to go through in this one. Uh, we've got lots of game hunting. I've got a pile of retro stuff to show and pickups. Uh, we did some trading and we even squeezed in a road trip as well. So let's get straight into it and we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Yeah, so it's fairly slim pickings over the last week or two. Um, just got two PS3 commons, Modern Warfare 2 and Rays, just to have for the collection. Um, and I'm gonna just head up to CEX. I have a small pile from the last video for trade. Uh, so we've got uh, an Xbox original, three Xbox 360 games, uh, a PS3 and a DS one. So we'll see what we can get for that. Hopefully they have something good up there that we can pick up for trade. Yeah, so not much joy locally this time. Uh, first up, I picked up a copy of the Getaway on PS2 for Euro. Uh, it's just one of those games that everyone had, I think, that had a PS2, but it actually came complete with the map, which I thought was pretty class. Um, I'll just leave it here with it. I get an idiot for the next two minutes trying to figure out how to fold it up. 
Uh, I got a copy of Modern Warfare 2 for Euro. Again, it's just a common title, but I missed out on PS3, so I've never played any of these games. And actually, this one came, as you've seen, with a little bonus disc in it. We got Army of Two as well, so two games to play, so one. And then picked up a copy of Rage for the PS3. Again, that was a Euro, so another one that we'll just pop on the shelf, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll grab the PS3 at some stage and get a play out of them. Uh, I went up to CEX then, that little pile that I showed traded in for 22 euro. I think I had about eight euro into it, so that was grand. Um, so we added that to the credit that I already have, it brought me up to about 70, and then picked up, I thought this was class, this Ori, it's like a Switch controller, uh, but it's obviously GameCube still, I think it was released for Super Smash. Uh, I just thought the color and everything was class, so really happy to pick that up. Um, so yeah, then we went on a little break for a few days. We went down to the country, um, hit a few charity shops down there. So I'll show the footage from that now. And then when we got back, I had a little small pickup waiting for me for the few retro games in it. So uh, we'll look at all that now in a few minutes. <laughs>
Yeah, so there you have it. Two weeks of driving around charity shops in Dublin for a handful of games uh, versus a couple of days and three charity shops down the country and we ended up with a pile. So, I don't know. We might have to try and do a few more road trips down the line or at least go a bit further afield just to see if we have any more luck. Maybe that's something we can do going forward. Um, but the first stop was in Cove. First charity shop, as you're saying, was closed. Uh, good old Google Maps there telling me that one was still open. Apparently, it was two miles up the road in an industrial estate, but uh, we were on a kind of a tight time constraint there. So, I found one to stop into, didn't find any games there. Uh, but then the next morning, there was actually one just around the corner from the hotel. Uh, they actually had some good games in there. They were priced up a bit, which is fine if they're a good game and still cheaper than buying it in CEX. I'll pick it up from a charity shop. But they, we didn't really have much time to be looking at them, and every game that was on the shelf was taped. And to be honest, they weren't really in the best condition. Like I picked up one, I got Resident Evil 5, that was three euro. Um, but like you might see it along here and on the back, like they were all fairly tatty and like filthy, like that's just caked in dirt. Um, so I got that one just to take a chance. Actually, funny enough, I got it and opened that, and the disc was perfect. So didn't get a chance to go back and look at the other ones. Um, but we drove down to Kerry and went into a charity shop down there and literally walked in and they had a pile of Xbox stuff. Um, so Xbox Original was a console I missed out on and I know in the last video I sort of touched on Xbox stuff and maybe just trading it off um, because I do need something to, to trade in otherwise I'm going to be spending a fortune on all these games but I mean, just looking at these, like looking at the cover art, looking at the spines uh, especially on the 360 stuff it's like oh, it looked really good on the shelf so I've got that collector's dilemma really do we keep kind of putting stuff up there um, I don't know I think what I'll have to do is I'll just uh, keep them all see how we go with our little trade fund and then maybe just I don't know just go through it every now and then take a few games off that aren't going to be used and trade them away um, but in that pile nothing spectacular like one or two good ones uh, but a few commons as well like Halo Combat Evolved uh, again, I skipped, I did have a 360, but I skipped the original Xbox, so I don't really know an awful lot about these games. Some of them I played on other consoles. Uh, Alien vs Predator Extinction. I should point out these were all a euro, uh, so I literally just took the stack and left. Like, there's probably some that were, I probably overpaid for, but look. Um, a copy of Enter the Matrix. Uh, again, nothing fancy. I think I had that one on GameCube back in the day, but I don't know what happened to the actual game. Um, then Brute Force. Again, no nothing about it. This is something I'll have to probably look all these up. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe someday get an Xbox and have a play them. But Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I should actually point out as well, every single one of these comes with the manual. And the discs are perfect as well. That's what makes it really hard for me to, to trade them off. So, more than likely they will stay in the collection. Uh, a copy of 007. Everything or nothing. Uh, funny enough, a game I picked up in the last video, I was I mentioned that I was close to buying it on the GameCube and I got it on PS2 and now we've got it on Xbox as well, which is Soul Calibur 2. So it's funny how those things come around. Uh, a DJ Hero sealed, not worth much at all. And then this looks like a pretty cool game actually, um, so I probably will hold on to it in the hope I get to play it but one day. Uh, but that's Blue Dragon on the 360. If anyone's played it, let me know. But rarely enough. I never really checked these things. I paid the price last time, but I did check this time. It actually had all three discs for it. And they're all in perfect condition as well. So, yeah, nice little pick up that. So, yeah, that was the charity shops down the country. And I'll just put these to the side. And then when we got back, I had placed an order with the retro gaming store online. And as always, anytime I buy stuff off them, I'll put a link. And I showed them in the video, I'll put a link down below. Um, so yeah, that was waiting for me. We got there, which was nice. So the first one in there was Agent Under Fur on the GameCube. Haven't picked up a GameCube game in ages, so nice to get one of them to add to the collection. And then I got three SNES games. Oh, actually, I paid eight for that. Um, these SNES games I thought were actually priced really well. Generally, when I'm buying SNES games, I try and buy ones that I had from my childhood. I definitely didn't own any of these, but I'm pretty sure I've played them all. Uh, so they were probably, you know, you used to go to your mates with like your games and used to swap and take them for the weekend. So I think I've played them all. Uh, but I got, sorry, I'm glancing at prices here. This is how professional we are on this channel. We've got them all written on a bit of kitchen roll. Um, but Pinocchio, I paid 10 euro for, which I think was pretty good. Uh, Joe and Mac Caveman Ninja. I'm looking forward to playing that one when I have the SNES set back up. That one was 12. 
and then Kid, Clown and Crazy Chase. I have to say that's slow, in case I slipped over my words. That one was six. And then one more game I picked up. I haven't shown a pickup for this console before. Uh, I do have one, I don't know if it still works, but if you're eagle-eyed enough and you watch the uh, Game Room Tour video that I have, you might have seen a few of these games on the top shelf. I probably have about 30 of them uh, still in the cases and I've got a load of them that are just loose or copies. Uh, but I just seen it, it was two euro. And the cover art is just pure nostalgia. So we've got a copy of Yogi's Great Escape on the Commodore 64. So I know there's a few retro retro heads on, around that would really appreciate looking at that one. Yeah, so that's all the pickups for this one. A uh, nice mix of stuff this time around. Uh, the only thing I haven't mentioned in a few videos is the game room. Uh, I did touch on on the bio on my homepage on YouTube. Uh, people probably don't even notice that. But essentially, the game room has turned into one of those projects that was bigger than I thought it was, and it's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Um, like for the last year, year and a half, I've basically been earning around 50, 60% of what I normally do. Uh, the industry that I'm in is still recovering from COVID. So we're only kind of back up to about 80% of what we were doing. Um, and it's just, it's been turned into a really expensive project for what I really wanted to do with it. Uh, so I think what we might do now is I might just kind of get it back to move back in worthy, you know, get it all sanded, painted, try to get a couple of the shelves up and just get everything back in there. And what we will try and do is then as we go along, we can add things like lighting and little bits and pieces. So going forward for the channel, that might be something we can kind of add into each video. We'll do some game hunting, we'll do some pickups and maybe do a little update on the collection itself and the game room. So yeah, that'll be it for this one. Uh, thanks for being again. Hopefully we'll be up in the game room fairly soon. Uh, I think this is my third room in the house now that I've been doing the video. So if we keep this up, I'll be in the jacks at the next one. So I really have to get moving on that game room and get back in. Uh, but just again, thanks a million for everyone that's been watching, subscribing, liking. Really, really appreciate it. And hopefully you stick around for the next one. Uh, cheers and we'll see you then. Thanks.